Hello everyone, this is Rachel Olson, your librarian for CST 105, and this video is just to prepare you for the roundtable workshops next week and, and the weeks after. So um, what we're expecting from you is that you will come to the roundtable workshops ready to talk to librarians and speaking center representatives, um, and we hope that you will have some sources, especially for the library component, we hope that you will have some sources that you've already looked for and found for your roundtables that the library and can then sit down and um, kind of answer any questions that you might have about the sources. So just a very quick review, a lot of this is covered in your module that you completed for the library on Canvas. So I would encourage you to go back and take a look at that. A very quick review, when you're doing keyword formation, thinking about what words you're gonna search for related to your topic, this is one great strategy. So write it out as a question or a sentence. So what is your stance? Um, what is it that you're trying to persuade us of? And then from there, highlighting sort of the key words or the key concepts and creating synonyms for each one can be a really helpful strategy because later when it's time for you to actually search for those things, you will have um, an idea of what you wanna do. The ABC framework, this is probably uh, what we'll work with you most on during the roundtable sessions with the librarians. Um, so A stands for authority and accuracy, B stands for bias, and C stands for currency. So this is when you have found a resource, this um, is a list of questions that we want you to ask yourself to kind of help you decide whether or not the source is the kind of quality that we're really looking for here. So I want you to be sure to review this. It's on your um, library guide for CST 105 as well, and we will take a look at it. It was also covered in the Canvas module. This video, and you're gonna have the link to these slides, um, Excuse me. So this video, which I would encourage you to look at, you should have already watched it for the module as well, talks you through how to use the library's catalog to find books. This video walks you through a database called Academic Search Complete. Again, you've already seen it, but it doesn't hurt to review it. Um, this is how you find those scholarly journal articles. Um, so I definitely would encourage you to review that. Um, peer review, so you watched a video on peer review as part of the module, but just to review, it's a process that some scholarly articles go through. It's like an extra test of quality. Um, and it has three main, peer reviewed articles have three main characteristics. So they were written by a scholarly author, they have formal citations, and they're usually published in a peer reviewed journal. So those are some key sort of signs for you. This video is not new to you, um, but it's about three minutes long and explains that peer review process. So I'd encourage you to check it out if you've forgotten. Do not forget to cite your sources using APA 7th edition style at the end of your outline. Um, and I'll show you on your library guide. Again, you have the link to all this, but I'll put it in the video description as well in case you need it. Um, this is your CST 105 library guide. Right here's the main page, and you have this APA 7th edition style page here. So I would encourage you, when you are citing your sources, to go through and look at the examples that we have here for you. It tells you how to cite each type of source, um, and make sure that your citation matches the examples. Um, I find this to be pretty helpful. So I'd encourage you to use that. You may also um, email me. I want you to make sure that you've attempted to cite them yourselves first. But if you're really needing help, something's still not clear with citation, you can email me and I can certainly help you. There's one more important thing um, that we need to cover and that's citing your sources when you're presenting to the class. We are expecting you to use oral citations and they're pretty easy. You just need to include the author, the year of publication and the source title. So for instance, um, John Smith's 2010 article in the Journal of Public Health claims that blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what order those three elements are in as long as you include them. And you also don't have to phrase it uh, the way that I did, which is according to yada, yada, yada. You can phrase it however you want. Just make it sound natural. And again, here's your library guide for this class. If you need help, email me rachel.olson at uncg.edu can also make an appointment or use our library chat service for help. And that's it for this very quick review.